Angelina Jolie announced that she had a preventative double mastectomy. Is that a thing? Should more women be considering this? Trace here, reporting for D News. Angelina Jolie's preventative double mastectomy is all over the news, and for good reason. She's famous, she's a woman, and she's undergone a pretty intensive surgery to a visible and oft photographed part of her body. And cancer can be very scary. Amongst American women of all races, breast cancer is by far the most likely form of the disease. 12% of all women in the United States, regardless of race, will develop cancer in their breasts. But Angelina Jolie had a further reason to worry. A genetic mutation upped her risk from 12% to as high as 87. The mutation is of the BRCA gene, or breast cancer susceptibility protein. It's pronounced BRCA. The two mutations, BRCA1 and BRCA2, are highly indicative of breast cancer development and Miss Jolie had one of them. BRCA's job in our cells is to suppress tumor growth, but if it's mutated, then it fails at that job. Jolie got her genes tested for the presence of the mutation, and when she found it, rather than waiting for cancer to take a foothold, she removed as much of her breast tissue as possible. The mutation is found using genetic testing, and it might be covered by insurance, but it could still cost a lot. Jolie's mother died of ovarian cancer at 56, which is also related to the BRCA mutation. So Jolie elected to have a pretty intense procedure formed even before any cancer cancer was found because of that strong familial and genetic history. Medically speaking, it was unorthodox, but for her it was probably a numbers game. Ultimately, she went from an 87% risk to less than 5% without the presence of that tissue. Just because the BRCA mutation exists in a mother or a sister doesn't mean that you'd have it if you were related. Additionally, men can also have the mutation, but before you all run out and get your genes looked at, it's pretty rare. You can get tested, but even Jolie says to be smart about it. Traditional self-exams are free, and as always, catch cancer early is the best cure. If you are worried, the BRCA mutations are commonly found in women of Eastern European descent who have an ethnic Ashkenazi Jewish background. Of course, commonly is kind of a misnomer as the CDC found only 3-5% to of women will have the mutation at all. And it's also more common in Norwegian, Dutch, and Icelandic peoples. Getting a preventative double mastectomy was Miss Jolie's choice and an increasingly common one. From 1998 to 2003, the number has increased 150%. An associate professor of surgery at the University of Michigan Medical School found that of women who elect mastectomies, 70% of them in the United States will have both breasts removed, even without a proven medical reason for doing so. Cancer is pretty scary, and this was a pretty extreme way to deal with it. But as awareness for breast cancer has grown with the pink ribbon campaigns, mastectomies are also becoming more acceptable. The cosmetic options for breast reconstruction have come a long way, and likely, if she hadn't said anything, no one would have noticed, save her partner. But as breast cancer is the second most common type of cancer in the United States, it's better to step forward than to not. Right? If you found out you had a high risk of cancer, would you make the same decision Angelina Jolie made, or would you follow a more traditional path of cancer treatment? Tell us your thoughts in the comments and subscribe for more D News every day. Thanks.